Josh. Best about everything else. Long snap. Can you long snap? I'm writing a story about Josh Harris. Could you long? Snap? Of course. Or Josh, something, something happens to Josh, but it's not gonna happen. But I have to go back there. I'll be practicing sometimes, man. When y'all leave, I'll be practicing all that good stuff, so y'all can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> this child has two child on him. It's my two youngest kids. Can't tell y'all their names. Y'all gonna y'all gonna go look them up and stuff, man. I don't need all that freaky stuff, man, going on, man. Need none of that, man. <laughs> nah, it's Zaya and Koi. Yeah. How you spell those? Zaya, Z Y A and Q O I. Somebody sent me these, man. You know, I got other kids, so they left my other kids out. So <laughs> kids can't get mad at me because I ain't make the socks. So I'm just. It's been a while since you did this, right? How you know? Special socks? What? I, I, used to, I went to school in New England, so I know you used to do the, the Oakland. I know, man. I, I got away from it, man. It, and it was in my in my locker this morning. I said, why not wear them out here to practice? How long has it been since you did the, the freaky socks? Probably about in a couple of years. You getting too old for it? No, 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 no. I just forgot. I had other things on my mind at the time. I think my agency, I don't know. Somebody, people always be sending us stuff, man. I just, I just wear it. Is it, is it, how do you feel being actually practicing today? <laughs> what? I practice every day, man. We talked about it last week. You, you have the rest went. Oh, 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 that was, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, man, it felt good being out here, man. Like I said, coach called me up Tuesday, asked me, hey, need you at practice Wednesday. I said, yes, sir, coach, I'll be there. You, you know, literally, just, I got paid to track these things. I know. I tell you, you know everything. See, nah, I can't get nothing past you, boss. No, nah, that's not true. You know that. You walk over every day, you have a. Yeah, my cart left me today, man. They tried to give me that special treatment. What are you at? Do you feel like that? Do you feel like that? You know, obviously, load management is a big a thing, a big thing in basketball. Do you feel like that's in some ways happening with you now? Say it again. Like load management, like managing reps, managing even in-game reps. Oh. You notice that happening a little bit. Honestly, man, like I said before, like I'm just, I'm just out here to just do my job. You know, whenever coach need me out here, I'm gonna be out here. You know, like I said, he, he called me up Tuesday and told me, need you at practice Wednesday, and I'm here and whatever. What do you mean in games? Like, do you feel like there's some sort of like load management? I, I don't know. I just <laughs> when my numbers call, I just, I just go in there. So you gotta, you gotta ask coach on that one. Were you surprised you weren't in too much in the fourth quarter? I, honestly, I, we won, right? It don't even don't even matter, you know. As long as we get the win, that's, that's all I care about. If I have five snaps to 100 snaps, as long as we get that W, at the end of the day, that's all I care about. Do you, do you know uh, Debo at all, Samuel? Debo Samuel? Yeah. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, have you ever? Well, have you seen how he's? You two are kind of. Yeah, of course. Thing, I, I I watch Debo all the time, man. Honestly, you know, you know he he from the crib. You know he he went to South Carolina. You know he you know all season he trained over there where I train. You know, and he just he work hard, man. He he do what he's supposed to do, man. The numbers call, he go out there and make a play, no matter where they put him at. You know, and receiver, running back. You know, I'm sure he probably can pass the ball and do everything that's that's possible, man. He, he's having a, a career year, you know, and I'm just happy for that guy. No, he ain't from Rock Hill. He, he just from the from the area. You know what I'm saying? From that water out there somewhere. <laughs> he ain't from Rock Hill though. <laughs> Yeah. If that does happen, as as in your current constituted position instead of as a returner, does that mean something different for you with, with it being that versus Honestly, man, I'm I'm playing running back, you know, kick return receiver. You know, it, it, I don't care about Pro Bowl right now. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's a good honor. You know, but you know, it's a lot of guys out there that's having a better, way better year than me. You know, having great years. So you know, hats off to those guys. You know, and whoever gets that that nominees, you know, they deserve it. You know, and I'm, I'm playing a lot of positions, so it's, it's kind of hard, you know, to vote for me on one position. I'm playing so many positions, so that's why one day I tweeted out like it should be like a a dual position, you know, hybrid position in the Pro Bowl. But you know, stuff happens, man. You know, and it is what it is. Oh yeah, they. Some guys gonna make it every year, man. That just, they, them guys great, man. Dalvin, you know, Christian, Alvin, you know, Henry, like you said, Taylor, man. It's, it's, it's just so many good guys to even name. So, you know, just hats off to those guys, especially Taylor, man, and the, the year he's having. Yeah.
what is it about him? I mean, do you watch much of Jonathan Taylor? What's not to watch about that guy, man? He's, he runs hard. You know, he's hard to tackle. He's, he's fast. You know, he, he he runs the ball well. He he makes good reads, good cuts, man. And a guy like that, man, it's hard not to, you know, vote for that guy. Has, has Michigan given you a different appreciation for the Bears? Man, honestly, man, like I said, I just play so many positions, man. I, I'm everywhere on the field, man. I, I appreciate, you know, I was telling Q today, man, it's like it, it's hard being a running back, man. Every receiver, you know, you, you ain't getting hit every play. You know, receivers, you know, there's some divas out there, you know. Some <laughs> catch the ball, get out of bounds, you know. Some don't block, you know, you ain't getting hit every play. And so at running back, man, it's like you taking on the hit or getting hit every play, you know. Nothing to the receivers, you know, because I used to be a receiver. You know? I, I know how it is, so I can say that kind of stuff. So, But, no, the running backs, man, hats off to those guys, man, uh, just the work they put in, especially the running backs before us. Did you recognize that before? I guess probably before last year? Even when you <clears throat> honestly, you don't really pay attention if you're not really playing that position. Now, I'm full time at the position, you know, it's, it's, it's hard not to, you know, really understand what those, those guys go through. But you thrive. You like being Oh, I love it, man. I love it. Last couple of weeks, though, you know, sometimes I went out of bounds. You know, I wasn't feeling, I wasn't feeling that hundred percent. I I normally is. So I was like, let me get out of bounds for, for something happened. But I'm ready, baby. I'm ready for a hit this week, baby. I'm ready now. I'm ready, ready to go. Let's get it. Never diva wide receiver. And me? Yeah. Nah. Never there. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Mike. So you back to laying the hammer this week? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm laying the hammer this week. Got to. For somebody to lay it on me. Cause two people in Carolina got me last week, Chin and and Thompson. So. Yeah, they both got me. I got I got to pay somebody back for that one. <laughs> Honestly, man, not really, man. You know, coming in the free agent, you know, you, you didn't know what to expect. You know, my uh, expectations for myself is always high. But, you know, just coming in and the role I'm playing right now, man, you know, it, it's awesome, man. You know, I just just got to thank the coaches, you know, to get me involved each and every week, you know, calling my number, you know, trusting and believing me, the things I do. You know, it, it don't you – know, I'm, I'm much appreciative. I know it's kind of hard to look back during the season, but you kind of mentioned it, uh, touched on it, but Arthur Smith being able to just find a way to just utilize him in such a good way. And also kind of, you know, making sure that, you know, you don't put yourself in a position, you know, be in a position to be hurt or something like that. Yeah, Coach got me in his fantasy. That's why he gave me the ball so much. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm just joking. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Toby, on that hit on the sideline, it looked like y'all were talking for a little, a little bit. Who was it? Chin? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Chin's a great guy. I trained with him in offseason. We trained down at Velocity in, in North Carolina, so he – you know, we we talk junk, man. After the game, you know, we talk. You know, he said he looked forward to playing. You know, me every, uh, twice a year. You know, that, that's just something that guy is, man. He's he's a freak, man. If you work out with that guy, you'll really understand that the freak is. He's he's a freak. Is there? I know you like to talk a lot. Is there a person who, or are there people who you played against who talk a lot of trash who are fun to play against who go back and forth with? Like, man, I, honestly, I don't like to talk, man. I don't talk no smack on the field. I'm a great guy. <laughs> Can't say too much, man. They start finding you, man. They start finding you. Nah, man. But it's a lot of guys out there that that I like to, you know, talk to on the field. Can't say no names, but you know they they good guys. You know, we all talk smack on the field, but the game's over, man. We all brothers, man. And we know how this game go, man. You gotta you gotta have fun when you're doing it. So why not talk smack out there on the field? How would you describe um, the past game with you and Denver going into this game against the four nine? Honestly, man, we we just focus on us right now. You know, just going in and trying to keep continuing to run the ball like we've been running these last three weeks. You know, and just got to keep building off that. And you know, when when it's, when it's time Matt to throw the ball, we know he's gonna go out there and make the the great reads and stuff. You know, and just hats off to the offensive line for last week. You know, keeping him clean and you know no sacks allowed. You know, and that's offensive line block like that, man. Quarterback got all that time. It, it's easy for the guy to make go out there and make the right reads. And I know for you it's an interesting question because, you know, you can receive a running back. But when you guys are able to be balanced running the football and throw it versus, you know, maybe have to throw it more often than run, how do you manage that within the game for yourself? Honestly, it's good, you know, and especially when they can uh, respect the run game. You know, it's going to help the receivers, you know, create holes for them to get open and stuff. And, 
you know, then when they start backing up to play the uh, the pass game, you know, it's just going to open up the run game for us. So uh, either way, man, we like I said, we just got to go out and run the ball. That, that's something that's our mindset for each and every week, you know, going forward, just keep continuing to run the ball. Awesome. Thanks, CP. Yes, ma'am. Appreciate it.